Canada's nearly $6 billion bailout from the federal government has come with a catch. They'll need to issue refunds for flights cancelled due to the pandemic. But who qualifies for the new policy and how will this change travel going forward? Joining us this morning with some answers is travel expert Jennifer Weatherhead Harrington. Great to see you, Jennifer. Hi, thanks for having me. So first off, how does this new refund policy work? Who actually qualifies? So I think this is something people have been waiting such a long time for. Basically, if you booked a flight with Air Canada or Air Canada Vacations packages between February 1st, 2020 and April 12th, 2021, you are eligible for a refund. So I know a lot of people at the time maybe took an Air Canada travel voucher or some Aeroplan points. So another option that you can do is actually have that reversed to get your original form of payment back. Mm. So that's a positive sign. Um, so really right now you have three options with Air Canada. You can get the full refund. You can ask for the Air Canada travel voucher, which has no expiry date, or you can get Aeroplan points plus a 65% bonus on top of that for your points. Okay. So and you would do all of this with at aircanada.com slash refund. Okay, that's great information for people. What about people who um, book tickets for future travel? What can they expect going forward with that? Yeah, so definitely there's gonna be a lot more flexibility for them. Again, you'll be able to have the refund or the uh, travel credit, or again, with the Aeroplan miles. Another really great thing that came out of this announcement was that for future travel with Air Canada, if your flight is canceled or delayed, by up to three hours, you have all three of those options again. So that's something new to look forward to also. It will take a little bit more stress out of it for us, which is really nice. Jennifer, I'm sure WestJet is thinking, what about us? Has there been any response from any of the other domestic carriers? Yeah, so the government did indicate that there are conversations happening with other airlines. So I think we're going to see something similar coming through with that kind of stuff. I think, you know, just hold tight. Air Canada alone has 2 million. They're estimating about 2 million refunds that they'll need to process. So go online, submit it, be patient, and wait for these things to come through. And I do suspect that we'll see the same with other airlines. Now we'll have to keep an eye on that for certain. Uh, in the meantime, more and more people are getting vaccinated. So uh, the CDC has said that fully vaccinated Americans can travel domestically. What does that mean for Canadians? And it, it's definitely really, really great news. It's such a positive thing to say, but they haven't necessarily issued that for Canadians, mainly because not a large percent of our population has been vaccinated yet. And we also have a lot of the different variants. So for them to say that it's safe for Americans to travel, that's domestically. And I think that once we see a greater population vaccinated in Canada, we'll see some of those same uh, travel restrictions lifted. It's good to note though, that the CDC, even though they're saying it's safe to travel when you're fully vaccinated, they are still discouraging non-essential travel. So keep that in mind, but it's still such a light at the end of the tunnel. Jennifer, finally, what do you rec recommend uh, to our viewers who want to book a summer vacation right now and make plans and book travel? So your safest bet right now is to stay close to home. I know there's uh, still some issues with interprovincial travel, but hopefully by the summer we'll be able to travel domestically. That's your safest bet you know, waiting till you get vaccinated or if you haven't been vaccinated, try to stay close to home. If you're looking to do anything outdoors, like RVing, road trip, camping, that was so popular last year. We saw an almost 500% increase in sales and rentals last year for those kinds of things. So you're gonna wanna book that now. If you are planning to do those kind of outdoor adventure things, do that now. Again, read the fine print to make sure that if you do need to change anything or cancel something, you're covered. But I think it will be a nice Canadian summer again. and. I think that's not a bad thing because we have so much to explore and so much to see. Yes, we really do have a great country to explore. Keep it local. All right, Jennifer Weatherhead Harrington, thank you so much for joining us this morning with your travel tips. Thank you for having me.